Chapter Nine of the Tale of Daddy Longlegs. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. This reading by Lucy Burgoyne. The Tale of Daddy Longlegs by Arthur Scott Bailey. Chapter Nine. Locked in. Poor Daddy Longlegs, buried as he was under dozens of shoes, all of them many times bigger than he was. He couldn't help being alarmed when he heard Jimmy Rabbit walk out of the shoe shop and lock the door behind him. Daddy wished that he had told Mrs. Ladybug in the beginning that he wouldn't help Farmer Green with his harvesting. Then he would never have started on his long journey to the oat field and worn out his shoes. And if he hadn't worn out his shoes, of course he would never have visited Jimmy Rabbit's shoe shop and got himself into such terrible trouble. He soon saw that he might call for help until his voice was cracked worse than ever without its doing him the least bit of good. So he stopped shouting and began to climb out of the pile of shoes that surrounded him. And he was very glad then that he had eight long legs to help him. But when he found himself free of the shoes, he seemed but little better off than before. There he was, a prisoner in the shoe shop, and the daylight was fast fading. If Daddy Longlegs had been half as wise as his neighbors believed him, he wouldn't have stayed in his prison two minutes. But after trying the door and the two windows and finding that he couldn't open them, he made up his mind that there was nothing for him to do except to wait until Jimmy Rabbit came back the following day. And there was the chimney all the time. Daddy Longlegs could have crawled up it just as easily as Santa Claus could have crept down it. But because he had never left anybody's house or shop by way of the chimney, Daddy Longlegs never once thought of doing such a thing, and his thinking that Jimmy Rabbit wouldn't come back until the next morning shows that Daddy knew very little about the ways of his neighbors. Almost anybody else would have been sure that Jimmy Rabbit would keep his shoe shop open at night because he was always wider awake after dark. And many others of the field people were exactly like him in that respect. Daddy Longlegs had been sleeping soundly for some time, inside the toe of a shoe, when the sound of voices awakened him. At first he kept very still. Being naturally a timid person, he did not want to show himself until he was sure he was safe from harm. And then, before he realized what was happening, he felt himself picked up, shoe and all, and he heard Jimmy Rabbit say, Try on this shoe, Peter Mink. Since there was no doubt the next instant that Peter Mink was thrusting his foot into Daddy's hiding place, there was only one thing for Daddy to do. Knowing that he was in a great danger of being crushed, he withdrew into the very tip of the shoe, and luckily for him, Peter Mink's toes did not quite reach him. After that, Daddy Longlegs could hear nothing more, nor did he know what was happening. But to make a long story short, Jimmy Rabbit gave Peter Mink another shoe for Peter's other foot, and bowed his customer politely out of his shop. After that, Jimmy Rabbit promptly locked the door again, but this time he locked himself in instead of out. You see, he never felt safe in Peter Mink's company. Naturally, Jimmy locked Daddy Longlegs out of the shop too, though he didn't know it. And there Peter Mink stood in the moonlit meadow, with his new shoes on his feet, and with Daddy Longlegs hidden in the toe of his right shoe. But no matter if it was the right shoe, Daddy Longlegs thought it was all wrong. 
End of chapter 9